CC Split and CC Split 2 can both be found under the Distort category. And this effect is a little bit of a novelty, but it can find some good uses. If I apply it to this photo of a cute little puppy, we have two point controls, A and B, and then a split value. So I'm gonna grab point A and I'm gonna move it to the left corner of this puppy's mouth, point B, move it to the right corner, and then split that open. So now the dog is talking. That's pretty much the extent of what this effect does. You don't have any control over this shape other than the two points, but clearly it was meant to just give a little bit of a control for splitting open the mouth of either a photo or maybe a character illustration. As you can see, it's not even aligned to the dog's mouth perfectly because of the way that the lips are shaped and I can't change anything about it. But for something that's kind of silly, kind of like a jib jab animation, this effect does pretty well. But there is a second version of this effect. If we go to CC Split 2 and apply that, we again have two point controls. So I'll grab point A and move it to that corner, point B, move it here. And now we have the added ability to control the top separately from the bottom. So that gives us a little bit more control over the expression of the mouth opening, but we also have this profile button. If I click on this, we're gonna get this little window that allows us to completely customize the shape of that split. So let's just take a look at the presets to start. The default is bump, but we could change that to sharp and it's going to give us a sharp point. I'll click okay and you can see how that has affected the opening of that split. I'll go back into profile and take a look at the next option, robotic, click okay. So that's a little bit different of a shape. But if we go back in, we can actually customize this to whatever we want. So that default value was bump. And if I come up to this part of the window and just click and drag in this graph, I can actually draw a completely custom shape. And there are a couple tools here to make this a little bit softer. If I click normalize, it'll just bring the highest point to the top of the graph, which is probably what you want. And then I'll just click on this soften button a whole bunch of times so that it gets rid of some of that jagged edge on each side of my curve. I'll click OK, and that profile is now mapped to this split. So I'll never be able to get to align exactly to the dog's mouth and the shape of his lips, but this allows me to at least do something closer. So let's try another shape. I'm gonna go up and down on this one just to see what it does. And again, I'm probably gonna to need to normalize that and then pull down the corners a little bit so that it's cutting off all the way down to nothing on the edges so that the corners of the mouth stay closed basically. So we'll do something like that and then I'll soften this out, click OK, and now I have something that just looks completely different. Now beyond using this as a mouth on top of a photo, either one of these effects could be used as a transition. If I move the points to the top and bottom center of the frame, then it could open up the layer in a unique way. And you could even add keyframes to these points, so maybe you're animating a zipper opening or curtains opening. It's important to think outside the box on some of these effects and see how you might use them in ways other than they were originally intended. So while these two are kind of novelty effects, you may be able to find some good use for them. But that's it for CC Split and CC Split 2. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you wanna support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.